Variable number two, coaching. The subject is going to squeeze for 80 seconds, and after that 80 seconds and going into fatigue, I'm gonna coach them up for 20 seconds and see if they can push past the fatigue. Attach three electro tabs to the arm of the subject. Two tabs should be placed on the ventral forearm, five centimeters and 10 centimeters from the medial epicondyle, along with an imaginary line connecting the medial epicondyle and the middle finger. Attach the third tab to the upper arm. Attach the red and green tabs to the tabs on the forearm. For this lab, the red and green leads are interchangeable. Attach the black leads to the tab on the upper arm. Have the subject stand. The elbow should be at a 90 degree angle with the arm unsupported. The subject should be turned away from the computer screen. Prior to starting, make sure you zero each one of the sensors. Change your settings to fit what is needed for the lab. Hit the button here. You're gonna change this to 100. You're gonna change this to 100 seconds. Now you're set up and ready for the lab. For this variable, the subject will squeeze as hard as they can for 80 seconds. After that time, the subject will be coached for the last 20 seconds. In order to read the data, we are going to highlight 20 through 0, hit the graph, view statistics, and we're going to look at the mean. Now we're going to begin to put in the data on the continuous grip strength data table. So for force for 0 through 20, we had 122.7. Remember that we are rounding to the nearest point one. We're going to highlight 20 through 40. Hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the mean. For 20 through 40, we have 92.5. We're going to do 40 through 60. Highlight it, hit the graph, view statistics, and note the mean. For 40 through 60, we have 89.0. I'm going to highlight 60 through 80, hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the mean. For 60 through 80, we have 78.5. We're going to highlight 80 through 100, hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the mean. For 80 through 100, we have 64.1. We're going to take a look at the EMG. We're going to look at the MVs for 20 second spans. So we're going to highlight 0 to 20. Hit the graph, view statistics, and on this one we're going to look at the minimum and the maximum MVs and note them. Now we're going to fill in the EMG data. For the maximum MV and the minimum MV for 0 through 20, for the maximum we had 0 0.71, and for the minimum we had negative 0 0.34. We're going to highlight 20 through 40, hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the minimum and maximum. 
For 20 through 40, we add for a maximum 1.73, and for a minimum, we had a negative 0 0.67. We're going to highlight 40 through 60, hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the minimum and the maximum. For 40 through 60, we had a 1.03 for the max, and for the minimum, we had negative 0.57. We're going to highlight 60 through 80, hit the graph, view statistics, and look at the minimum and the maximum. For 60 through 80, for the maximum, we had 2.97. And for the minimum, we had negative 0 0.99. We're going to highlight 80 through 100, hit the graph, view statistics, and we're going to note the minimum and the maximum. For 80 through 100, for the maximum, we had 0 0.93. And for the minimum, we had negative 0. 4, 2. Now your job is to find the difference between these numbers and add that value in the delta MV column. Now that we have all the data, you can start doing the lab report. A template for the lab report can be found in the description below.